Right, so what's happening here is I am now the admin. And I am now in charge, and I'm going to be recording things. I'm going to oversee this. And, well, basically that's it. Now let's see you over here with Oily. Now, Oily is going to be recording this, so we shall see his point of view as well. And as you can see, oh, they're probably going to mine down very soon. Now, I'm not actually sure what's a battle tactic for this map after the changes. And I edited it so that it's got a bit of 1.3, but it's not really brilliant at all. And it seems over here they're not moving at all. I'm not really sure with that. But um seems to me that Uno's already taken the iron from those places, which were I did add that, and they were just a little addition that I wanted. Now it seems Uno and Sven are now working their way, maybe looking inside this chest, and I can't look inside the chest because I'm banished, but they're going to work their way down it seems. Now Uno is one of the main competitors as one of the best snipers uh, by far. And as you can see, smartly, he's replaced the iron with dirt to get lots of free iron at the beginning of the game. This team consists of Circlehead, which is Edward Burnett, and Zach Nurkum, which is my fellow YouTuber. Mobs will only spawn while someone is over here, so... Oh, there's a death already. <laughs> so I, I have no idea what's wrong with them. Yep, mobs are very spawning very well, but they are getting killed by the wolves, which is a bit of a shame, but you can. And the first casualty was very, very fast. And I think that was his own team kill. Not exactly sure what is happening there, but someone just killed the lost child. Has just killed their own team. Oof. And now he's committed suicide. Seen Zach has brought along a bunch of wolves. Oh. And um, basically, he he's taking the advice. Got a bunch of wolves out. There are still lots more being spawned high in the sky and getting a bit of damage. Now, let's see over here, which is Oily's team. It seems they are now making a base. I'm not exactly sure why, but they're making a base and now doing some villager trading. Villager trading is one of these things that I love about 1.3, in fact. I think it's just one of the best things you can do. Especially the fact that you can set them. So I'm actually going to make an adventure map sometime soon with the villager trading systems. Uh, who's Oily's teammate? Lewis317. So let's get and see what he's doing. Seems oh he's underground and mining. Seems he took a really short route down somewhere, and if he mines any further down this oh yeah he's probably already got it yeah. Seems he might have already gotten that. So Lewis three one seven is somewhere again. <laughs> oh man this is very new. Ooh but. But this is uh no, it seems he went through here. Yes, he's he's gotten into one of the nicest caves that I find because it's quite close to diamonds. So that was quite good. So it was very well Blame Blame back for that. Then we've got oh, they have reached the diamond and they have a pressure plate TNT trap, which should stop most people. Uno is still down here, and he has reached the lava pool, which means that he probably has fire charges as well, which you can find here, which I think is taken. 
yes, he's taken the fire charges. And the lava pool is one of the most popular places to go when playing the walls. But first walls, even with or without the two, two minutes forty. Now I think that side is now going for a non wall core. Uh, they still have a lot of walls they could get, so I think they're now focusing on diamonds. That will be a major advantage if anyone comes. Oh, it seems Zach's already got a diamond. So, I'm not totally sure what their battle tactic is. So they do have this, which leads to somewhere. So, not really sure what they're trying to do there. But, over at Foy's side, I believe. Yes, over at Foy's side. They seem to have a redstone torch just randomly there. Not exactly sure what that is supposed to do, but we shall see, we shall see. And it's most likely that he's going out with iron pack, kill some things, and get that experience. Seems they're going to the uh, mob option. See if they can get a lot of walls to the mob on their side. Ooh. And now back to Uno's team. Uno's team seems to have made a strange F, or is it just H with a bit? But they've also added lava to this bit. Or maybe was that an accident? Yes, it seems like an accident. So they're kind of losing a slight bit of time here, and it seems they've also flooded one of their escape routes. Lava. That's not particularly good for Uno's team. So, Uno himself is. Oh, he's above ground actually. Oh, he's above ground doing some more trade with a shop vendor. Or not. He's trying to kill the shop vendor. He can't die. So, now we have a burning shop vendor. Oh well. And, and he's now falling like a bar. And now we have a ravage of animals. Which is brilliant. Okay. Also, so, now with the wall down, Zach seems to be moving this way towards. I believe the back to their base actually with their farm and all the animals are now strained in the middle so Oily, which is on a pillar is now beginning to snipe at somebody let's see who he's trying to aim at sniping over here so I believe Oily is trying to snipe Zach while Zach He's trying to snipe Uno. And now the battle begins. Ed goes in there attacking Sven. Sven has diamond armor while Ed's only got his enchanted leather. But the thing is, there are attacks. Oh, we have a casualty. Two teams are now down, and all their items are now dropped on the floor. The brilliant win for Team Uno. Although the wolves are attacking Sven. Oh, but no. It's, an, it's, it's fine. So, it seems they're opting not to take their stuff. So, I will. And go on and see what's happening. And he's gonna die. Well, so it seems now the angry wolf might be angry at somebody, but not who knows. As he is now raving around trying to find where everyone else is. Oh, and 
right place the two of cups. Back to the base, and they've actually skipped the base. I'm not doing anything at the moment. So, they're now sniping at the last team remaining, and this is epic battle. As oh, there he is. There he is. Lewis is now hiding from Uno's shot and egg throwing. <laughs> oh, and Oily is also sniping backwards. And this is going to be a very epic battle here. Although Oily is not looking for cover, while Uno and Sven are raving through the trees trying to find their cover and protection. But the problem also is, it seems they're going to aggro some more. So, on the basis, I'm thinking that they do, although they have diamonds, there is a very strong advantage, because these have a lot of walls, and Oily is also able to snipe them while they have to wait for the aggroed walls. Although it seems they are now just moving their base here, as Ben is building some protection, and who knows? It's just undecided. Oh, he decides to go back to base. Maybe to get some supplies. Oh, no, no, he's going round, he's going round, he's going for it. He's going round the walls. And he has lava. Oh, no, his plan is to delay them. That's his plan, his plan is not to do anything but to delay, delay them. So it's very dangerous right now as they add lava everywhere because it will just destroy their forage of trees which is protection Team Oily has now decided to retreat back to his base with his massive amount of Oh, no, actually, no, they're going for an attack, they're going to go round and attack, or they're going to go round and check if there is... Oh, no, Uno has come round. Uno has come round, and now Oily is in an epic fight. But it seems Lewis is in on fire, but he saves himself by jumping into water. But this is a massive damage for all his wolves, as most of his wolves are now on fire as well. Uno lies in wait. You know, lies in wait for them. Oh, Sven, Sven's down, Sven's down! And he's dropped all his diamond stuff, but there's not enough time to get it because Uno is still sniping. But he's pushing them off. It's 2v1 right now. They might win it. The team which had the people might win it, and it seems like this is an epic battle. The duel. Although, I am actually betting that they are going to take this item, or not. Huh. So, Lewis is still waiting back here, while an epic battle between Oily and Uno is happening. But Uno is setting things on fire with his fire charges. But this isn't enough, is it? This isn't enough. Because he's going to get pushed and pressured by he's trying to run, he's trying to run, oh that was close, but none of them are hitting each other, they're all very very, oh, Uno lands a shot, Uno lands two shots, and Oily decides to return back to his base, Uno starts to chase, he begins, he comes, but Oily's in here and wait, but he's going to climb back onto his base, it seems he's going to go for the high ground, while Uno is stuck outside, Although Uno's setting us on fire! Uno's setting us on fire! I believe this is going to be a big match as Uno decides to burn down their base in an attempt to destroy it. Although, where is Cap? Where is Liam, I mean? Hmm. Liam? Back here. And Liam is also coming in wait, seeing that's on fire, but it seems Uno spotted him. But Liam also spotted Uno, so he's, he's retreated around to attack. Oh, Uno got hit, Uno got shot, and now it's the epic battle.
Uno comes and Liam comes around Uno and now it's a sword fight. We nearly, nearly, nearly. Let's see who wins. Uno with the diamond sword. We have a winner. Oh, that was epic. Hello. Hi. Oh, that was very good. Oh, well done, man. Yes. If we yes. Oh, god. You, you guys, you guys won. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> Our wolves are here. Our wolves are here, and they're coming to fuck you, Sven. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, oh. Man. Yeah, they put lava down and they killed so many of what? That was epic, I've got to admit. That was a, such an epic game. <laughs> you couldn't oh. even move. Uh, like, I yeah, we pin, we completely pinned Sen down with swords and... What happened yeah. over at the other side? We didn't... We yeah. saw you two went to kill each other and then what happened? Oh, oh basically, the they just got killed. That was Uno fought the best, i got to say. Best competitor's got to go to Uno. But yeah. me, me and, yeah. me and uh, Swarm... Do Zerg it. Swarm. Uh, so, me... Me and you were like best thinkers because we had the vendor. And that's basically Hello, it. Hello everybody, good game, good game. So we have our winners. Yeah. Play, yeah. So uh, I, I still yeah. find out these surprises. Then this is the... Where's Ed? Third give, me, give, me, give, me, give me my trophy shit. Fuck I'm off, behind you, Zerk. Uh, I'm still stuck behind the best buying wolves, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Zach, kill should the have wolves. There. Should have gone there. Don't no, kill them. Let's fuck okay. the wolves up. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a wolf. That's definitely a wolf. Kill it. <laughs> kill it. That's a wolf. Oh, that's, yeah, we got we got it. We got the wolf, guys. Don't worry. Oh. Guys, what is my skin? Is it Steve? Um, no. Zach, skin. Yours is Steve. Yay, it's a certificate. Hello. That's not a testificate, that's an iron golem. And he's gonna fuck oh, wait, us no. all up. Yeah, but he looks like a testificate. A third. Okay. Oh, he so... started on the iron golem. Oh, we could have made an iron golem, couldn't we? <laughs> you idiot. Oh, okay. I think you should put pumpkins in the uh, next map. Yeah, I got if you have, a, yeah, yeah, if you yeah. have an iron, iron golem, how is anyone gonna kill you? <laughs> Yay! That's Yay, kind of like our wolves. Yay! Yay. Yay. Give me my hat back, you motherfucker! Good game, guys. Good game. Oh, so, very good game.